And hey, welcome back to the afternoon session, folks. While we are in verdict watch in the case out of Nashville, Tennessee, we were in uh, kind of a sort of verdict watch in the case against Michael Avenatti in the U.S. federal court in Manhattan, where he'd been accused of ripping off his former client, Stormy Daniels, in her book deal. Well, now we are lucky enough to have Adam Klasfeld with me. He has been following this case from the beginning. It was a wild one. It was a weird one. But today, a verdict, guilty on both counts. So, Adam, thank you for joining. Give us a, a refresher here. What were those counts, and, and what's the potential sentence this guy's looking at? So, the counts were wire fraud and aggravated identity. Uh, prosecutors had alleged, and now a jury has found, that he had defrauded his most famous client, Stormy Daniels, out of hundreds of thousands of dollars out of her book advance for the book Full Disclosure about her litigation with uh, former President Trump and uh, more broadly, her memoirs. Uh, so the jury returned the verdict today right after they appeared to signal this morning that they were deadlocked. They, are, they had filed a note uh, suggesting that one juror had refused to take part in deliberations. Hours later, we get a verdict, and it's unanimous, and it's guilty on both counts. Avenatti now has to surrender at uh, 5 p.m. on Monday. Uh, we don't have any more details so far as that goes, but as for his potential sentence, the ceiling, the maximum penalty here is 22 years. 20 on the wire fraud count, years on the aggravated identity theft count. Wow. So we know that he's already been sentenced to two and a half years in the Nike scam, in that fraud. Uh, he never served any time there. That was put off. What, what, what do you think he's got up his sleeve here? Is there something that will keep him out of prison this time, or is Monday really going to be the day that uh, they lock him up? Well, that is his surrender date. He has, we, we will see what he will argue in post-trial motions. Uh, we don't have any word on where he will be reporting to, what, to what facility. Uh, this, as you correctly note, this is his second conviction. As a matter of fact, his second conviction in this same federal courthouse, uh, where he was also convicted of conspiring to extort Nike. Uh, and so he still has a, yet another trial on the West Coast for a variety of fraud allegations, the first one ending in a mistrial. But it, the case continues. So he's facing potentially a huge amount of exposure. Yeah, he's uh, he might want to fire his attorney before he moves out to the West Coast for that next case. I'm very curious about the jury, you know, to before lunch being, you know, hopelessly impossible to have a unanimous jury. Must have had a great lunch. They come back after lunch, and what a miracle. It's a unanimous verdict. Do you have any other insight as to, to, to what may have swayed them? Any Anything you've seen, heard around the courthouse? Well, if you look at the details of the note that they sent this morning, they sent a note saying that one of the jurors was facing her uh, position on all emotion. Now, back then, we didn't have any confirmation that it was an 11-1 split or that, uh, that the 11 people were leaning toward conviction, but it sure looks like it based on what we've learned. Uh, also, the remark about he might want to fire his attorney is a good line, um, but he was asked, by reporters as he left the courthouse, do you represent your decision to represent yourself? And he, initially not wanting to take any questions from reporters, decided to do an about face and said he'll answer that one. No, not at all. So we will see if he follows the same path in his uh, remaining trial on the West Coast. Yeah, what, what a shock. Michael Avenatti, arrogant about something. I just, I'm, I'm shocked at that. Hi, this is Dan Abrams with exciting news for all of our Law & Crime followers on YouTube. You can now get the live Law & Crime Network with YouTube TV for all of your daily live trial coverage, legal news, expert analysis, and original true crime programs. Subscribe to YouTube TV today and then locate Law & Crime in the channel guide. And for only $1.99 a month, you can add the network to your bundle. Watch Law & Crime every day with YouTube TV. We put you in the jury box.